Hi, everybody. Say hi, Dad. Hi, Dad. The cookies that we are going to make today are called hazelnut chocolate chip cookies. Mm. Uh, before we actually get started making anything, we want to, is it roast or bake? Toast. Or toast. <laughs> <laughs> toast the hazelnuts. So we got, we got all these hazelnuts right here and we're going to pop them in the oven for about 10 minutes. 10 minutes. Brings out the oils. Now, while we're waiting for our hazelnuts to toast in the oven, we have to chop up the toffee bars. Um, how, how big should we make them? We want them the same size as the, as the chocolate chips. Yeah, so they'll they're, cook about the same way. They're the equivalent of a chocolate chip. I mean, we already have chocolate chips, but the, the, the toffee bars should be about the same, same size. While we're preheating our oven to 325 degrees, we are going to assemble all of our dry parts now that we have them laid out. First will be our chopped oats. Then we'll add our flour, oh. our salt, baking powder, and then baking soda. And the next step is to blend it. We're going old fashioned with the wooden spoon. So like any other cookie, right now we do, uh, we cream the sugar. So we'll take the mixer here, the granulated sugar in, and we'll drop the brown sugar in, and then we'll put the butter in. And you, you stop seeing butter parts, then uh, you're pretty much pretty much done. It's light and fluffy. Add in some eggs, and we're going to add in some of the vanilla extract to give it the flavor. Here's where it can get messy, but you don't want, you want to blend the flour in just enough to get it incorporated, but not too much. So we put it on low, and then add a little bit of flour at a time. At this point, what we have here is good old-fashioned cookie dough, and it's delicious. Okay, now here comes the sin. We had 12 ounces of semi-sweet morsels. Here's the, uh, what I call the psycho grip. Sweet, sweet, sweet. So then we're going to add the hazelnuts as part of it. Toss it in there. And my dad has just taught me, what's it called again, dad? Psycho grip. Psycho grip. Oh. So as you can see, we've kind of outgrown our bowl here. We still have something to add. So what do we do at that point? We go for a bigger bowl. Get a bigger bowl! And the final ingredient, the one I have been eating out on the entire cooking process, right dad? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. The, to the toffee. Now, now he's got his hands thoroughly occupied. You can attack him like a crossbody block. No. Is good right now. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You always take him on parchment because if you don't, you'll be digging forever. You take and make a ball. You just use a, a, a spoon the size of a of a uh, ping pong ball. So now we have our ping pong ball sized. Uh, mounds of cookie that will eventually flatten out in the oven. We've been preheating our oven to 325 and uh, we'll let that go for about 15 minutes. Take a look at about 10. You start seeing it get brown, get it out. They will burn quick. And this is kind of what they're supposed to look like. <clears throat> so here we are guys. About a hundred and some odd cookies later. But see, we make that much cookies because we're not going to eat them all ourselves. Give them to friends. Let them know how much you want them to have cookies. I would eat one right now, but I spent so much time eating the cookie dough. I don't want one till tomorrow. Thanks for watching, guys. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. What would you suggest if they don't have well, coffee milk? How do we get into this? <laughs> you beat it for a while. Ah, beat it! Beat it. <laughs> Stop that. Okay. Go for it. Hey. <laughs> okay, I'll count myself. So. You're so good. Yeah. So while we're waiting for the, the hazelnuts to toast in the oven, we have to chop off, chop off the, chop, chop up. We, while we're waiting for the, uh, Hazelnuts. Hazelnuts to thank you, Dad. Mm. It's so good. <laughs>